We're going to look at three different developer approaches quite quickly. The first is the silo approach. The silo approach is quite common, particularly for larger organizations. This is where we write the same application three times, once per platform that we want to target. The applications are built using the vendor's tools and the vendor's languages. And the advantage is, is that we get a fully native app that's capable of taking advantage of every single feature of the platform. Now, the downside, of course, is that we've had to write the application multiple times. That means that we're creating the same bugs multiple times, potentially different bugs on different platforms, and often it means you have to have multiple development teams to support those. And so a lot of people will turn to a different approach, such as the black box approach. This is where we have some sort of magic black box that takes a single code base and produces a native app for each one of the platforms. Now there's several vendors out there that do this, and this can be an appealing approach that solves the silo problems because now we can take one code base to generate all of our apps. Typically that code base is written in HTML and JavaScript, which means if you've got a web team, this can be a very appealing approach. The downside to this is often you're going to be restricted to the features that are common across all of the platforms you want to target. That means you can't get to some of the cooler features or perhaps some of the newer features that are introduced on a platform. Then we finally have the Xamarin approach. Xamarin lets you build iOS and Android applications using the C-sharp skills that you already have. Because the code is written in C-sharp, we can share large sections of it with all of the platforms that we want to target. This is going to include iOS, Android, Windows Phone, desktop apps, web apps, any application that can be written in C-sharp. Now the cool thing about this is we're going to generate a fully native app and we have access to all the platform features. And so even if you want to take advantage of something that's specific or unique to a particular platform, you can still do that and still write your app in C-sharp. That means anything you do in the native platform tools and languages, you can also do using C-sharp with Xamarin. Nothing is restricted, every feature is available. The only difference is that you're going to be using C-sharp and all the features of .NET that you know. Link, async await, generics, delegates, tasks, all those cool things that you're already capable of using, you're going to be able to leverage here as well.